Do you have your brackets ready? Nathan Epstein has, and he joins us now with his take. Let the madness begin. It's something uh, to look forward to right behind the Super Bowl. After that, then you got March Madness. Everybody yelling and screaming, going for the team. That time of the year, everyone seems to have an excuse to miss the work day. Uh, they may have got sick, saying they're sick for work, or you know, uh, other things like uh, they have things to take care of, before they finish to take care of to get off. Some people even give themselves a real reason. Actually, you do see an uptick in the number of men seeking a vasectomy. That's right. Many Americans these days will even resort to vasectomies in order to catch the madness. But it's actually a great opportunity to leverage that that gift, if you will, to have some time to uh, uh, to watch the game and enjoy, uh, enjoy time on the couch. There are some who hang around the office. Miles Leon is president and chairman of one of the top realty companies in Virginia. His company's pool raises money for the American Cancer Society. Over a number of years, we've raised about $350,000 for Relay for Life. And the March Madness pools that we um, run here help raise dollars for that so people get excited. And oh, how to sort the madness. I am not picking because I don't have the slightest idea who to pick. But my 12-year-old son thinks he knows who to pick. And so I'm letting him do it for me. No real rhyme or reason to my March Madness picks, but um, I am an ACC basketball fan. I'm a Virginia Tech alum, so I picked UNC. My sentimental favorite is UVA, of course. Uh, Wahoo Wah. I've got Kentucky. I'm from Carolina, so really, to be honest, as long as the Carolina team wins, I'm happy. Certainly a maddening time of the year, but for the best reasons. I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.